What's going on, everyone? So we are now entering week five of the NFL season. And real quickly, I just wanted to go over the standings. I know you probably are pretty up to date with them. But we have the Dolphins and Bills tied right now at 3-1 and one in the AFC East. We have the Browns, Bengals, and Ravens all at 2-2 two and two in the AFC North. We have the Jaguars and Titans tied at 2-2 two and two in the AFC South. And then we have the Chiefs in first place with at 3-1 and one in the AFC West. And then in the NFC East, we have Eagles in first place, 4-0. But keep an eye on the Cowboys and Giants, both at 3-1. and one. NFC North, the Packers and the Vikings are both 3-1. and one. Uh, This is interesting to keep an eye on, those two. In the NFC South, we have the Buccaneers and the Falcons at 2-2. Two and two. And then in the NFC West, we have the entire division at 2-2. Two and two. So let's jump into next week's picks. Like I said in my other video, last week I went 10-4. and four, So pretty good for picks. Let's see if we can have another good week. Um, first off the bat, we have Thursday Night Football. The Colts at the Broncos. This used to be a really exciting matchup. Um, Andrew Luck against Peyton Manning at one point in time. But now it's... Matt Ryan against Russell Wilson, which also has been a good matchup a couple times, but that hasn't been for a few years. So, I am going to go with, as much as I hate to pick the Broncos to win games, um, this is a game I'm definitely going to have to pick them. Playing at home against the Colts team that has not been good against anyone except for the Chiefs. Um, yeah, we're going with the Broncos for this one. I think that's a safe pick. Next up, we have... The Lions and the Patriots in New England. So Hoyer has not been at practice yet. Mac is practicing. Both ankles taped up. And of course, Bailey Zappi right now is the... Right now, he's looking like the starter for Sunday. Um, I don't expect them to start Mac Jones. It doesn't look like Hoyer is going to go anywhere after that concussion that he had or whatever it was. So Zappi is looking like the starter most likely, but they have not ruled out Mac yet. If you notice, I am wearing my throwback Patriots shirt, and that's because the Patriots will be wearing their awesome throwback jerseys that we have not been able to wear in 10 years because of the previous NFL helmet rule where you could only have one helmet per season. And we have throwback helmets that go with our throwback jerseys. So this is going to be probably a pretty good game um, in New England, in Gillette. I will be there. I will be at this game. I will be pretty close to the 40-yard line, uh, right on that very first level of the field there. And I'm expecting the Patriots to score some points. The Lions' defense is absolutely horrible. So if Geno Smith can score 48 points against the Lions, then I'm thinking maybe Bailey Zappi can too, or <laughs> at least some. We do have a very good defense. So... I'm going to pick the Patriots to win this game. A little biased, yes. The Lions do have a good offense, but we got the home field advantage. We got the better defense. So maybe a running game can take off. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Next up, we have the Giants at the Packers. Two 3-1 teams playing in Green Bay. The Packers did have some trouble with a third-string quarterback last week, yes. But I don't think Daniel Jones is going to be even that good so we're going to go with the Packers to win this game in Green Bay next up we have the Steelers at the Bills 100% chance that the Bills win this game uh the Steelers are starting Kenny Pickett now but that shouldn't really matter in Buffalo Bills are going to win this and moving on now to the next game Chargers at Browns I consider this Chargers at Browns game kind of a trap game this is a game the Chargers could lose if they're not careful. But I'm still going to pick them to win because I just don't think the Browns are better than the Chargers. I don't care if they're playing at home or not. So we're going with the Chargers to win this game. Next, we have the Texans at the Jaguars. And they're playing in Jacksonville. Of course, Jaguars are 2-2. Two and two. They've been solid in certain games. Texans haven't really showed anything. So we're going to go with the Jaguars for this game. Next up, we have the Bears at the Vikings. Interesting fact, the Vikings have not started 3-1 and one in many years. I don't remember how many years, but many years. 
this is the first, or at least I think this is the first time that Kirk Cousins has started three and one with the Vikings or in his career. I don't know. I read it on ESPN, but either way, Bears have Vikings, and I think the Vikings are going to win this game. So we're going to roll with them again. Next up, we have the Seahawks at the Saints. Both teams play horrible sometimes, and both teams score a lot of points sometimes for no reason. They are playing... Ooh, yeah, they are playing in uh, New Orleans there, so I don't know if that really changes anything. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Seahawks are 2-2, two and two, Saints are 1-3. and three. Who do I want to go with for this game? I'm going to come back to this one, just like I did with the Giants and Bears game last week. All right, next we got the Dolphins at the Jets. Teddy Bridgewater, I'm assuming, starting the game against Zach Wilson and the Jets at home. We're going to go with the Dolphins for this game. I still think they have a much better team overall, so we're going to roll with the Dolphins as much as I hate to pick them. I don't think the QB change is going to be much of a difference here. Next up, we have the Falcons at the Buccaneers. I feel like this is that yearly game where Brady plays the Falcons after a loss and just unleashes it on them. So we're going with the Buccaneers for this game. Next up, we have the Titans at Commanders. Titans are 2-2. Two and two. Washington is 1-3. and three. Let's just keep rolling with the Titans here. Washington doesn't really look like they can do anything right now, so Titans it is. Next up, we have 49ers at Panthers. We're going to roll with the 49ers, although this would be the game that they would lose, right? Because they're playing a bad team. But we're going with the 49ers. Next, we have the Eagles at Cardinals. I still feel like this is another game that could be a potential upset, where if the Eagles are not careful, the Eagles could lose this game. Are we going to go? You know what? Yeah, I am. I'm going to pick the Cardinals to win this game. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go out on a limb and pick the Cardinals to beat the Eagles this game. 2-2 two, two against 4-0. I think that streak ends this week. I could be wrong, but we're going to go with the Redbirds over the Greenbirds. Cardinals over Eagles. Next up, we have the Rams against the Cowboys. This is the, also the week I think another streak breaks. I think Cooper, Cru Cooper Rush loses this week to Cooper Cup. And Stafford, uh, Rams playing at home, coming off of a tough loss against the 49ers. I think the Rams will win this game, although it could be a close game, but we're going to go with the Rams. Next, we have the Sunday night football game. Bengals at Ravens. Uh, the Ravens have not been able to put together four solid quarters of football very much this season. Bengals coming off of a much-needed win against the Dolphins. But I'm actually going to go with the home team here. We're going with the Ravens. I think they're going to get the the win here, and then it's probably going to be flipped when they play each other in Cincinnati, but we're going to go with the Ravens for this game. And then our Monday night football game, we have Raiders at Chiefs. This is not the week that I'm picking the Raiders. I know they finally just won for me, but we're going with the Chiefs, playing in Kansas City. How can you pick against the Chiefs? They just scored 41 points last week. They're looking really, really good, so we're going with the Chiefs. I always say never bet against Brady, but my other thing I'm going to start saying is don't bet against Mahomes. So we're going with the Chiefs, and now I have to go back to the Seahawks and Saints game. So we're thinking about the Seahawks-Saints game. I really don't know who to pick. It's kind of a toss-up, but I don't want to drag this out. So we're going to go with the team with the home advantage. And... That's the Saints. Is it really home home field advantage? I guess so. So we're going with the Saints to win this game. They are technically the worst record team at 1-3 and three against the 2-2 two and two Seahawks. So we're going to go with the Saints here. Now to give you my lock of the week. Because last week it was the Raiders over the Broncos. And we were actually correct about that. So let's see. My lock of the week is going to be... It has to be something that isn't, like, completely obvious already. Because what would the point of a lock be there? I haven't really picked a whole lot of upsets, but I don't want it to be an upset either. Lock of the week is going to be Rams over Cowboys. They are the worst record team. But Rams over Cowboys, that's my lock of the week. 
And I kind of told you my potential upset of the week already is the Cardinals over the Eagles. So let me know what you think and we will see you next time.